Hey there, Aquarius, and welcome back for another general love reading. Shout out to all of the beautiful, amazing Aquariuses of the world. Uh, I hope this video finds you doing absolutely amazing. So Aquarius, we're going to tap into your energy and see what does your future serious relationship look like. All right. Uh, what's coming to you in the form of what is your next serious relationship that is coming your way? Now, it is a general, so only take the part that fits. It's not specific. It can't be because I don't I'm, I don't know. So only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. So check it out. Now, it seems like there's some inner work that needs to take place. You have forgiving and learning, but it's showing up in the reverse. Put my glasses on. It says, as you release and heal the past, um, you experience more love in your present moments. So you may be holding back. You may be needing to forgive to release something here because you got to pay attention to the red flags in the reverse. The signs are cautioning you. So maybe because you're not forgiving, I feel like it's more of you not learning your lessons because your last card or your next card is deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. Now, it could be you or it could be somebody who you were dealing with. So, look, life is so peculiar that for some people, you, you're going to actually reconcile with someone from your past. Now, I'm just telling you, I can't live your life. I'm just telling you. But others, you're going to have a serious relationship coming into your life. But it seems like there needs to be some shadow work. And you also got work worth waiting for. And you got healing family issues in the reverse. You also got work on your partnership. Give your relationship a chance here. So it's almost like maybe somebody needs to um, heal their family issues, which is a reason why um, they're not learning or forgiving. Something, something is hindering growth in your life. And I feel like it's personal. It's something that you individually need to do for yourself or somebody. Either way, go. if it's pertaining to somebody that you were dealing with from your past, there's a need to learn your lessons and forgive. It's almost like you're not tuning into your intuition. You're not seeing deception. Or it could be you. It could be you not knowing that you are toxic. You know, you've been deceptive. You've been wearing a false uh, mask in the relationship, not being your authentic self. So it wants you to know that divine timing is at play in your love life, Aquarius, all right? So your overall energy is the three of wands is waiting on your ships to come in, waiting. Four cups here, see? It's, a, it's like the, the suspense of waiting. Four cups, I feel like there's some unhappiness there. Page of cups. Judgment, once again, it's a need for you to make a, a call here. Judgment. There go the lovers in the reverse and there is strength in the reverse. So what I feel like for some of y'all, it could be with somebody from your past. OK, because you got the sun card, but you do have a new opportunity to start over with the ace of wands underneath the bottom. You could be dealing with the Leo, a Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn here. So let's see. So you got the three of wands, the strength, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. You got judgment, Taurus, Gemini, lovers, four of cups, page of cups, knight of cups, cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You could be dealing with any of these people. So you do got the knight of cups. Like I feel like somebody could be coming in to you. It could be a water sign. And there may be a need for you to make up your mind what you want, but there may be a need to forgive. It's almost like you may have an opportunity to reconcile something, but there's a need to forgive and learn your lesson so that you don't repeat it because somebody hasn't been real, real in relationships. It could be that somebody really is dealing with some childhood issues and it's affecting their adult life. But with this judgment card, there's a spiritual awakening that's trying to take place and also the need to stand in your power and make some life changing decisions about moving forward. All right. So let's see. 
this video resonates Aquarius please like share and subscribe and thank you all right spirit what's going on with Aquarius this next series relationship in this three of wands why is the three of wands here waiting on your ship to come in so so somebody could be playing it safe it could be that somebody's waiting for somebody else to reach out for them so like i say it's an opportunity to start something new with somebody old but but there has to be some type of inner work so they go to star cards see three of wands the star so you could be holding out hope but there's also a need to heal too So you could be checking out on this person or this person is checking up on you with the page of swords. You could be dealing with another Aquarius. Somebody is waiting on something. Either they're holding out hope or somebody needs to heal. But I feel like this is holding out hope since somebody is waiting. But there is a lot of conflict or a lot of confusion. See, you remember you had that deception card. So I feel like this is past energy that you perhaps could have a new opportunity with your serious relationship. So maybe there's inner conflict that you're going through because after all, there's, there's a need to learn your lessons and to forgive and release. But if you are not healing properly, um, especially if it's something pertaining to, you know, a, a energy dealing with your parents or something from your past, see, five of Pentacles, somebody is insecure. Somebody's insecure, but you got a new opportunity in love here. See, you got something good, but it's like it's like somebody needs to do some inner work. Why is this four of cups come here for Aquarius' next serious relationship? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, Ace of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands type of energy. See, somebody done walked away and somebody's still holding on. So either someone, see, they go that four of cups, somebody not happy. So it's almost like somebody self-sabotaged their relationship and now they're not happy. Now, whether this is you or you, them, but could be you dealing with a person, a soulmate here. What's Aquarius' next series relationship with this Four of Cups, Eight of Cups, Four of Cups again, Knight of Pentacles. See, something is happening though, Knight of Pentacles. Maybe you're taking your time or maybe something you've been waiting on. I feel like you're about to get it here with this Nine of Cups and this Knight of Pentacles. So for some of y'all, you may still be, it's almost like for some of y'all, you holding a grudge and you're not forgiving and learning from somebody, yet you still want them to reach out to you. Or, or this is somebody you always off and on with and you're used to coming back together. Why is this page of cups here for Aquarius next serious relationship? It could be um, an apology, some type of communication. Just seen the eight of wands. Somebody's going to get something that they've been waiting for is what I see. See, they go to five of swords in the reverse. That's your energy. Feeling defeated here. So you could be the one that see, there they go. You. That's your energy. Five of swords in the reverse. And they go to nine of swords, oof, followed by the ten of swords, oof, followed by the tower. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, wow. Could be dealing with an empress, your child's mother. They go that page of cups again. So you could be waiting for somebody to reach out to you, but they're not doing it. So it could be a call for you to heal and you do it. They go to page of cups again in the reverse with that empress. I feel like somebody is overthinking things because there's a need to heal your own energy. And now spirit is requiring you to look at things different or to see things from a different perspective. Some healing needs to take place. I feel like either in your life or the person that you're dealing with, because I feel like this is past energy. Why is judgment here for Aquarius' next serious relationship? Why is judgment here? Eight of swords, see? I feel like somebody's not taking actions towards this lover because the lovers are showing up again in the reverse. So I see you having relationship problems, maybe about giving to more than one person here. And there's a need to make up your mind. It's almost like you want somebody to make up your mind. See, it ain't nothing happening. But something has definitely changed. I know the will of fortune. See, there's some changes taking place in your life. Or there's a need for you to change things with this. Because I feel like 
you're restricted in your thoughts about this soulmate. There's probably could be a karmic connection. But in order for you to have something new, you're going to have to heal something because you got the opportunity of something new. But I feel like there's a need to repair either some hurt or pain from your childhood, a need to forgive your parents because there's a lot of stagnation, a lot of delays because there's a need to sacrifice and change your perception on maybe how you give relationships. Maybe it's been one sided. Maybe you feel like you haven't been. Maybe you're going to come to the conclusion that maybe you have not did fairly by somebody. Got the lover's card again in the reverse. Why is the lover's in the reverse for Aquarius next series relationship? What's up with this lover's card in the reverse? Gemini energy for Aquarius next series relationship. Why is the lover's here in the reverse? Knight of Cups. There go that Knight of Cups. Got the Knight of Cups twice. So either you want somebody to come to you or you want to go to somebody, but you keep overthinking it. And it's almost like you're holding on to a grudge. It could be the person you're dealing with here, too. They need to forgive. See, there's a lot of regret going on. There go the Five of Cups. So like I said, with this lover's card, somebody may be regretting that they were deceptive. You remember they go that, you remember they go that deception card? Because there's a lot of regret. So like I said, I feel like either this is your, I know them so is yours. I feel like there's a lot of regret because maybe somebody was juggling more than one relationship and maybe mishandling them both, giving to more than one situation. And now somebody is regretting it because Somebody is not happy. So like I say, only time anything new is going to happen is going to be after some self-reflection and some healing because it's a lot of negative energy here. See? Because this was a one-sided, unfair relationship. So I feel like there is a lot of regret here because I feel like, I feel like somebody may have, somebody's feeling a lot of remorse about not handling things right. See, it's what I feel. See, could be dealing with a Libra. So either you were the one that was being deceptive here, Aquarius, and now I feel like there's some healing and some learning that needs to take place. Because you got the Ten of Swords in the Tower. You could be, you could, somebody could have found out about, somebody could have found out about something. Now you got the strength in the reverse. Leo energy. Why strength in the reverse for Aquarius next serious relationship? What's up with the strength card? Page of Cups. I feel like somebody is not. So this is what I feel like now. I feel like somebody is waiting for the right time because you got worth waiting for. Divine time is at work in your love life. But I actually feel like you want to be, you want to go back to somebody or you're feeling a lot of remorse about maybe third party energy or being indecisive here, non-committal energy. I feel like there was a lot of heartache and pain because you got the Ten of Swords in the tower. So something ended very drastically. And I feel like it's based on these cards. Some of you Aquariuses may feel like you're the one to blame. And there's a need to do some inner work and look at things differently because then I feel like you will see, and I feel like that's what you're doing. You're going to start seeing things differently. But this, the, but the, somebody's so regretful of all of the damage that they caused, there, there's somebody don't have the courage to come back. They want to, they desire the other person, but it's almost like somebody feel like they, they didn't did enough. And so if you don't take heed in this judgment card, then you're not learning. Because that's in the reverse, forgiving and learning. Learn something. Is you supposed to learn? Because this is what they are, lessons. So you don't run away from it. No, you face it. Because if not, then it's going to boggle you down. Because that's just how it is. All right, the strength in the reverse. See, seven of cups. Somebody could be wanting to apologize for all of the confusion, the illusions that they were selling, because you got that Knight of Cups. Somebody here could have just been finessed, and somebody could feel finessed. 
and now I feel like the finesser is gre- uh, regretting everything. Somebody's, somebody's starting to look at things differently now. See, somebody was selfish and all about themselves while you had a whole divine feminine, a whole gift. So I can see why somebody would, would regret this. Now somebody is, is feeling imbalanced because they're missing this other person. Knight of Cups for Aquarius next, next serious relationship. So you could be with a, could be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, Taurus. So yeah, I, I, I get it now. I feel like somebody wants back in. See, they go to Magician card. Now somebody's either manifesting this or somebody was very manipulating in this Knight of Cups in the Magician card. See, they go to Four of Pentacles. Because somebody did not want a long-term relationship, so somebody was manipulating. So it's almost like somebody was leading somebody on intentionally just to get what they wanted. And they caused a lot of heartache and pain. And as a result, somebody is suffering in silence is what I see. So although there is a lot of opportunities, you got the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups. It's like somebody needs to do some inner work or forgive, learn. See, they go to Ten of Wands, dropping a bird in here, see? Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. And they go to Fool Car. Somebody's too insecure to come back because they keep on thinking bad. Somebody, somebody needs to do some shadow work here. And I feel like it's you, Aquarius, based on these cards. It could very well be your person, so take it how it fits, so. I feel like there's many opportunities to have something long term, but there has to be a whole lot of inner work and a lot of forgiveness and learning. Until then, these cycles are going to be repeated. Whatever the problem was with this one, there's going to be problems with new ones. So that's what I see. So if this video resonates, please like, share and subscribe.